Hey everyone, so um, I'm in my basement as you can tell and um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been really busy lately. My friend recently passed away and I've been taking it really hard. I'm graduation's coming up. I have to worry about all this stuff and it's a lot of pressure and just stress and all this stuff. I just got my schedule today from my high school. My schedule. I covered up the top. All right, you want to hear what I have? You're gonna hear what I have. So I have Spanish two first period. Then I have orchestra and chorus. It kind of goes on and off those days. Um, then I have world studies, world literature, lunch, algebra one, phys ed nine, and biology. But instead of uh, PE, I do a sport and I'm gonna do volleyball. So like that's how my high school works. You do a sport and in return you get a sports study. So like a study hall. So, instead of doing gym, you do sports, so, I don't know, um, does that make sense? But I'm just, I just told you guys my schedule, how interesting. So I'm in my basement, as you can tell, and, um, so this is about friendship bracelets. I always make these. It's what it looks like up close, and this is for my friend, it's her birthday, it was her birthday, like, a couple days, so it was like a week ago, I think, but her party was on Saturday, and I gave her her gift. And then I made her a bracelet and I gave it to her today. And now I'm giving this to her probably tomorrow. I'm only this far done. But it actually doesn't take me that long. This only took me about an hour or two. Because there's so many. There's like 12 strings. And I have to do two. So it's like 24 per thing. It's a lot of math. But this is a pretty thick one. Now this is a normal one that I never finished. Look how tiny that is compared to this. Like, ready? It's like... Not even less than half of this. That's like the size. It's just like a regular tiny one. These are the ones that most people usually make. So these are really simple to make. Um, I know you can get the yarn at Michael's. That's where I got mine. I got this really big pack. Um, oops. Um, it came in this package and it came with all this yarn. Um, and it came... This thing I got for Christmas and only came with a couple. I don't know where. I got it a long time ago. And it's a book about friendship bracelets. Isn't that so cool? It teaches you how to make them. Let me go to the first page. Actually, that's not what the page I wanted. If I can find it, I'll show you. Alright, so these are all the designs it shows you how to make. So, braided with beads, twister. Uh, the simple knot one, that one. This one, this one, this one. That one and that one. So it teaches you how to make it. It's really cool. I don't know where I got this. But yeah. Um, so yeah. I always make those. Some other ones that I do. Um, I just do this oof, this basic knot one. I always put these on my ankle. Like I have one on my ankle right now. Because they're so, they're so plain. And they're just so tiny. And they're just perfect. I always do pretty colors. Like this one's pink and yellow. And I have one on my ankle that's teal and yellow. I guess I don't ever use yellow and yellow, I guess. It's pretty. I don't know. They're just really cool. Okay. So, um, this is another one that I made. I really like this one. It's really pretty. So, it's got, like, an arrow. This one is, like, one of my favorites. And then this is just one that everybody basically makes. It's a Chinese staircase. This is just my, um, town colors. So I wanted something cute, but just not, like, kabam. So, yeah. Um, another thing that I like doing are pinwheels. Now, I had two packets of the really large boxes. Okay, I had two large boxes of yarn, and they each came with four pinwheels. That's what these are called. I started one. So, they're really cool. They have different designs. Like, this one has hearts. That's what it looks like. This one is the, uh, it looks like it comes out like with this pattern. You can make flower or diamond. And then they're, they're just the same, they're just repeating. They come out looking really cool. Like this is the pattern. It's thick though, it's like a cylinder. And then this is the diamond one. These are all from last summer. I wore these down to the beach and they got sand all over them. This one's the flower. 
you can't really see it. I have, and then the next one that I'm working on is the heart one. These are really cool. I like just really like doing this as a hobby. Can't really see the heart one that much, but it's really cool. So yeah, those are the type of bracelets that I can make. I, I can also do like the hearts. So organization, I'm getting off this. I use a clipboard. Most people use a clipboard, but I put the pretty little liars poster. Duh, I love pretty little liars. Sorry. Okay, so I take it in a box, and this is my Juicy Couture box. It's just a box. It just, this is from, God, I'm not taking off the sticker. This is from, um, 12410. Will you be able to see that? No, you probably won't. But it was a gift receipt, and I got this a while ago. Okay. It is pretty messy, so just beware of what it looks like. I do have a lot of colors. It's like makeup. I collect a lot of these. So what I did was I had so many of these. These are what they look like. If you go to Michael's, you can get these like separately for like a dollar. But I only get those if I like I need a certain color, like white or black. Like I always run out of those colors. But I did this color coordinated. Like you can see the rainbow, red, and then white. But I took uh, note cards and I just wrapped them and then I wrapped them around it. That's what I did like with this one. This is my favorite color. How pretty that is. I think that's what I do. And then when I finish with one of the colors, I just take the color from the actual thing and I just reroute it. Re thing around it. So what I keep in there is some scissors because my mom hates when I take the kitchen scissors. Um, I keep... Alright, let me put everything back in. I keep this little tin. I think it was like a chocolate... Yeah, it was the Galardi chocolate thing. Um... In here, I just keep the pinwheels and some bracelets that I finished. The ones that I showed you, they're in here. Because they're they're cool, I just don't like them out. So I keep them in here, and I put that in there as well. Uh, that pinwheel always goes in there. The book. And my clipboard. And, and it all fits inside this handy box. I know that the Uggs boxes, those fit it too. So, yeah, that's what I always wear in the summer, and I'm just trying to tell you guys about them. They're really easy to make. And, yep, I hope you guys like this video. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. It's right up there. I realized it's right above me. That's that's where the subscribe button is. I really hope. Oh, and I got my eyebrows waxed today. <laughs> my friend, the one who was her birthday, her grandma waxed my eyebrows. So, thank you, Sam. That's her name. So I'm very uncomfortable right now. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye.